Hi guys, welcome to another video. You can see that DXY has been pumping and I always tell you guys until or unless this bad boy DXY goes down, we have to be very very careful in these markets because this is a very very important play and we really need it to come down. We That's only one thing that's gonna bring us the 110th percent confirmation. We already have the 100 percent confirmation but now we need 110th percent confirmation. So right now it's still pumping and that's another reason why the market dumped because DXY goes up, market goes down. We have discussed this relationship several times. Even now we get into USDT in the 4 hour time frames. We wanted this bad boy as well. Okay, see sideways ja ke break this line at 3.69. Unfortunately, haven't been doing that. Just be pretty sideways, not breaking those zones that we ideally wanted it to break. So just have to monitor this section as well. Look at the dominance for all the coins. Overall, if you look at the dominance for ETH, really, really good. Did break out yesterday, brought the market back into an upside rally. We went down, flush out all the retail. People became completely bearish. People start having panic attacks. They were like, oh my God, is the market coming down? Scare you out with the FUD. So that's what they like to do. So they brought the FUD in, scared everybody out, and people went out from the markets. Right now, we can see BNB's dominance is doing well. Solana obviously has been performing really well for the past several days. Others dominance has been pretty, pretty sideways has just been trading in the region that we wanted to break above. We had breaking above, but we are having several retests of that zone. So just have to be patient with the others, have to be patient with the all coins. And now we should get into our main players, which is obviously has to be BTC. So now we get into BTC, we can see that BTC had come down week below, took out a lot of long positions yesterday. People did have that part, but I clearly do this line for everybody who's always tracking my charts. There you can see here that we were still in a higher low position so until or unless we came down all the way to 44,300 even we discussed the cipher was suggesting us that we could come back to those ranges but then after we did come below we then straight away pumped pretty 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 quickly in the early hours in the morning and we saw good upside especially Asian time then we saw a similar upside as well on Ethereum. That was a very very good and bullish sign for us overall that the market came exactly at the cipher points and then had a good upside. I've added a good trend line here as well. So now you would have a better idea if you see the difference in both of them. We can clearly see the difference that BTC does come and test its trend line very very often. While when we look into Ethereum we can see that Ethereum doesn't do that on a very casual levels. It just does it once in a while like we saw here but it never even went down below the trend line while BTC is doing that very very commonly right now so it's it's just a casual thing for BTC to do that because more likely there's a lot of long positions open a lot of more people play futures there and ETH actually has a lot of demand so there's different different dynamics of that situation now we get into AXS AXS looks very very good looks very very clean everything looks very very good did come down just like all the other coins still in a good higher low position even if you want to take out a very small trend line and see what is happening here as well so we can still see clearly we're in a very good trend line even if you see the rsi we had a clear hidden bullish divergence so that also looks very very good for us cypher also has a good momentum now on the four hourly if you want to get into trades here just wait for the macd's convergence then you can be very very certain about it but overall we are following this line so if you get a chance that we do break above this line in the next 24 hours then definitely you can enter a trade and obviously you know this is the range that we are going to be trading between from about $67 to almost about $75 if we do go above that that would be just the beauty and the beast for you guys beauty would be you're going to get some profits beast would be in case we don't break above so there's going to be two sides to that story as well now we get into ADA we've been seeing for several days now that ADA has been just consolidating over this line does go above it but then lacks a lot of volume that good bullish volume that we would need something like this or something like this but we haven't had that for past several days so we need that good volume and good information more good information coming from nfts we already know they have contacted snoop dog so snoop dog is going to be working with cardano on their nfts as well a lot of promotion is going to be going on from snoop dog side snoop dog is the biggest wholesome name houseful guy here when it comes to nfts he's one of the biggest players in nfts everybody kind of knows about that already now we get into AR, we can see AR Navy Kafi had just a pullback here than the last time. A similar pullback here, but we can clearly see we're still in a very good uptrend, which was a good sign for us. 
I would at least still wait for the convergence or a breakout from here to be happening to get any more bullish and be like, all right, I want to take a trade or something like that. For now, I'll just wait and watch AR. Nothing special going on here. We had a similar hidden bullish divergence here as well. We see both the levels are same while when we see the levels on our chart, they are not the same. That's how we tell this is a bullish divergence. For now, we have a short positions open looking at the momentum on market cipher. But overall, if you look here in the MACD, still looks all right. Nothing very, very bad here because the volume is very, very little. So I can't really say it's going to be massive short positions to be opening right now in this coin. So now let's get into Solana. Now when we get into Solana, I clearly drew these lines for you guys yesterday and it's, uh, it's how it is, you know. I, most of the time I do get the opportunity to be pretty right in these markets and I was. So we did come exactly at that point, channel 1, channel 2. Both got tested and then we bounced from dumped all the way to channel 1 and from channel 2 we built a nice support and now we are heading upwards. Overall, we are in the cipher right now so we can come back to these channels. Be pretty sideways in these regions or we can even expect us to go above the cipher like we have done here in the past as well. So, you know, you could relate to it and understand some similarities here as well. Now, if we want to see some lines here that we can consider for ourselves, okay, if we do break above these lines, then probably we can start becoming very, very bullish. But overall, we do know there's a massive resistance coming in play very, very soon. The volume that we used to have in the past few days has faded away but obviously this it was a weekend so we would ideally want to wait now today is just the tuesday so we, we have to wait what's going to be happening throughout the week to understand things a lot more better but overall things do look very very good here we have all the way resistance at 157 dollars we had another very good retest of almost of our weekly downtrend line so that is another very healthy sign so if you do want to get into trades just wait for some momentum to be coming here or at least market ciphers and MACD to at least give us some kind of bullish indicators that we should get into a trade here. Atom had been performing really well. Now Atom needs to have some kind of consolidation, some kind of pullback. So these were the zones given to you guys for Atom as well. Atom did come exactly in zone one, didn't test zone two yet, just went below zone one. So overall looks very, very good. Still, I would expect it to just remain pretty sideways, be here. Overall, we do can expect some kind of pump to be coming but for that we need some kind of serious volume as well if we look at uh, in market cipher short positions are open right now even in MACD the short positions open right now so if there is going to be this momentum continuing then probably we're going to be pretty sideways or dump even lower overall looks pretty pretty okay I don't think we have any fart regarding this or have to be pretty much any worried in this situation or scenario now we get into AVAX AVAX did dump all the way to our support level of almost 90 dollars and then started having a very good upside now it's facing rejection from our line which is at around 96 dollars and now it's beginning to have some kind of rejection from there so it was a very good upside from almost 90 dollars to 96 dollars 97 dollars and now it's just been having some rejection here this is a very key zone until or unless we see very good momentum coming here now we can already see that especially on market cipher and even the magd looks very very close to having convergence once we have this convergence would be a very very good place for us to aim into a very healthy trade here because we know we have been trading in this zone for some time now and we do wick above that when we went all the way to 103 dollars overall volume looks pretty decent not as bad as some other coins so still looks very very good looks very very healthy i'll expect i think i'm gonna expect it to just consolidate a bit here now we get into phantom we can clearly see phantom had a very good upside look very very good overall looks very good, having a very good momentum just having a retest of his zone even if you want to see it on market cipher a we can see that it is all right just being into the lines of ema now we zoom out a bit and see what's happening on our market cipher b we look all right we are just having short positions open right now just bring the momentum down rsi also is just bring the momentum down clearly you can see a massive uh, divergence coming into play right now because we are having an upside here and then here we are having a downside that's usually a divergence as well created by the bulls so we just have to monitor that looks pretty good until or unless we don't see convergence on market cipher or MACD just wait and hold on for the next trades to be coming in now to the man who never stops the one who nobody can stop right now because it's been so bullish in the market that is has to be Luna. Luna is back up and Luna is looking very good. We have convergence in long positions in MACD as well and we also have convergence on our market side for B. Looks okay. It's just going towards. I think it's already broken it about from few cents difference. So I do expect it to now go up higher than this. We did ask you guys to take a trade in here. So if you are in this trade, 
I hope you're going to be in very, very good profits soon. So we have to look into Luna now tomorrow in more detail because right now it's just breaking out. There's not much we can discuss, though the volume is lacking, has broken above from few cents. Let's see whether it will be able to get higher to about $120 or $100. 20 region to about 130 dollars range whether it's going to be trading in that maybe anytime soon or not overall market did have a very good healthy bounce theta went about 101 percent where all the coins that we see look very very good right now very good positions in most coins room went up almost about five to six percent looks all right has broken above this line this line was given to you for for example if you wanted to enter into trades this was a line for you to get into trades we have massive resistance coming at 13 dollars we had a bullish divergence also here we can clearly see so it looks pretty good real good magd is also showing long positions to be opening right now even our market cipher is giving us a green light so overall all these signs are very very good for us even if you want to see into market cipher a market cipher a is suggesting us some kind of pullback is possible but then we can break above it so it looks all right looks pretty pretty decent here as well especially when it, when things like this happen on four hours they do tend to be very very bullish for us so overall all these coins look very very good market looks very very good as well for us right now hopefully this is going to be very very helpful for you guys as well now if we get into startups we have already started up our ada swap now the next one that is going to be happening in about one day 23 hours is going to be drunk robot metal drunk robot metal is a play to earn game built on the top of the binance smart chain it's going to be a very very important game binance has a lot of games coming out every year and then now then if you get into our newly listed we are going to be seeing other swap in next 56 minutes i'm very very bullish about it i'm very very sure it's going to be very bullish coin then we also have flamingo fan token which is a very big football club from south america then we have napoli another italian football club so we have we are seeing a lot of football clubs right now coming into newly listed which is a very very good sign so i did get some arsenal coin but it's just been pretty sideways not much action coming into it lately but overall i i just got it because i'm a huge arsenal fan so i think that's the best way to support your club because it's a fan token right so that's that's the reason you have to get into it so now we get into our big data we can clearly see on our big data we are right now trading in the regions of 53 looks all right looks very 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 good and yesterday we were at 52 we did dump below like we have discussed if we look into the long and short ratio block trades we are pretty long right now and about 62 percent people are about long and 37 people are in short positions if we look into long and short ratio and global data we are pretty even see it's not much difference 49 and 50 here just a few percentages here and there now we look into market sentiment very interesting to see that ethereum right now is on sell positions and even if we look into long and short positions so all right and the reason it's in i probably think it's in a sell position in market sentiment is because funding rate right now is pretty pretty negative which is a very surprising sign for us like i said they have a lot of demand going on right now especially when it comes to eth and even if you look into btc it's pretty neutral long and short ratio is even stevens funding rate is positive so things are pretty good here overall we have that in zil as well yesterday also we had in zil zil and a massive upside they pumped it too much it looked like a rocket ship it has to come down and have a very good health correction overall our greed and fear index today is at 53 so it's pretty normal we're still at neutral levels that the greed we would want hasn't creeped into the market yet which is a very good sign for us overall now we get into the news we have some massive news especially coming in from china china reports about 16400 new daily covid coronavirus case most since the pandemic began that is just an insane number i think that is a very very shocking number for everybody to have and know oh my god it's about 16000 cases and now we know that they're going to military coming and doing covid 19 tests that is also going to be the huge number of tests that we are ever going to see about i think it was about 3 to 2.6 million that is a huge number and now even if you want to see the biggest news right now everybody on twitter is very very happy because Elon musk takes a share that he's already bought he's probably the highest shareholder right now of twitter which is about 10 to 9 percent and he's been taking digs at it and he's been pretty funny you know how this guy is always about so Elon musk says uh, takes a dig at twitter web3 and nfts on twitter so i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button Share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's what keeps me motivated, guys. Take care, guys. I'm going to be seeing you guys tomorrow.